This video was brought to you by Stoinberg, Abed Rue Planner, Mr. Green, Ken Power, and Marcus Biel. Yo, what's up? We are back with a range test. This time, a much asked car. This is Citroën EC4. It's based on the PCA, uh, PSA platform. Uh, 50 kilowatt hour battery, just like the E28, E2008, Corsa E. I will also be testing Corsa E later in a couple of weeks, but today it's all about the Citroën EC4. So, quick intro. It seems to be like a crossover. So we will see how efficient it is. Uh, hopefully we can get it around 150 watt hour per kilometer today. So not much to see, I guess. I can show you guys more of this in the interior review. So right now we, oh, we, 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 we're about to finish. It says 100%. We better get ready. Yeah, let's go. All right, we are on the move and we have, on where well, we have a, a head up display the poor man's head-up display. So we have to cruise at 92 kilometers per hour. So this car will show you now in high precision, the range. It predicts 356 kilometers of range left, but the distance has a low precision. Only integers in the distance. <laughs> oh, okay, whatever. But the first thing I noticed with this car is that it feels nice and quiet. Yeah. I mean, we are on pretty uh, smooth asphalt, but this car feels quiet compared to the E28 I tested last year. So, okay, the first thing we'll do is weigh the car. Let's hope it's working. All right, front axle. Oh, ooh, 960, wow, what the heck? That's pretty heavy, nah. Wow, 1740, whoa. It's like a Model 3 standard range plus. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's check Mjösen today. Oh, this car has heated front windscreen. I can see the little uh, thing. But okay, let me see. How is Mjösen today? We have slight tailwind now. Okay. That could explain why the consumption is ridiculously low, like Ionic go home low. <laughs> Okay, all good. Uh, wow, we have some high traffic over here. Ooh, look at that traffic. Really high, dense traffic. Oh my God. Yeah, yeah. Comment in the, just comment about the traffic, yes. Help, help my YouTube algorithm. All right, we are back now at the Dahl. I just checked the distance. It was showing 180 kilometers right before we entered the roundabout. That is actually two kilometers under reporting, which is roughly, I have to find calculate, but it's roughly 1.1% or something, 1.1, 1.2% under reporting distance. Whoa. Okay, it means that the distance you see right now here, we have to add 1.1% something. And then we also have to subtract 1.1% to the consumption. So it means the consumption is around 140 watt hour per kilometer. Oh, remember to take a break. Yes, I don't drink coffee. All right, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, okay. Merci beaucoup. There you go, there you go, yeah. Yeah, 140 consumption, huh? 140 watt hour per kilometer. I only go home. <laughs> okay, we have to drive another 100 something. Mm, yeah, let's go north and then go back again. And this car supposedly has some kind of auto steer-ish, but if I let off the, okay, I, I made sure I had I have no cars behind me now. So I'm gonna show you, if I let off the pedal, I mean, let off the, the steering wheel, it will do some kind of correction. And then, uh, eh, this is not what I call auto steer. Oh, look at this. It's doing some correction just so you don't crash. Yeah. Okay, we are getting close to uh, Dahl. We have 22 kilometers of range left. I don't know how many percent we have. It's a big mystery. I think we have around 10% left. 22 kilometers left. Well, we, we, uh, we have to go, uh, yeah, yeah. We're going for uh, Hoesatte Loop. That's 15.7 kilometers. Hopefully we can make it back here. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> The kilometers suddenly disappeared. Oh, 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 battery low, battery low. Let's go, let's bail out, bail, bail out, pull out, pull out. Low terrain, pull out. Welcome to the sun in my face position. <laughs> but okay, 
I got the result. Uh, we're gonna charge up a little bit and do the high speed test and then we look at the data afterwards. All right, we unplugged at 71%. We are good for the high speed run now. Uh, but I'm just idling now. You see, we have, we just have the, I just found a little bit of shade because I'm shady. But now what I want to do is just sit here for about five minutes to let the battery cool down before I do the high speed test. Okay, we're doing the 120 test now. And uh, huh, I actually have to cruise at 121 on the speed though to hit 120 GPS speed. And I have to say that this car feels nice and quiet. Yeah, uh, even the, the, the asphalt over here is not the, the, the smoothest one, but pretty good soundproofing against wind and also uh, road surface. So it's a nice and pleasant car to be in. Okay, now we're on the stretch with a nice new asphalt. I just say, the EC4 is also nice and stable on the highway. It's, sometimes it feels like driving a German car. Hmm, but to say nice comfort. Yeah, very pleasant to drive, indeed. Um, I'm doing, I'm doing 120 kilometers per hour now. Yeah. Remember guys, if you're pulling a trailer in Norway, the speed limit with trailer is 80 kilometers per hour. Yeah, this guy didn't get the memo. Okay, there's one thing I noticed, which is that um, when I was at the turnaround point, after driving 50 kilometers, it looked like, based on the scale, that I only spent 20%. I had 50% at the turnaround point. I was like, huh? But now you see that it drops faster. So I got the confirmation from the people in the live stream who also has experience with these PSA cars. Uh, the scale is not linear. <laughs> it drops faster and faster towards the end. So we just have to know about it. All right, we're back at the starting point. So let's do the whole thing now. At the 90 test, the consumption was 139 on the display, but this car over reports distance by 1.1%. And that means that the real distance is 1.7%, but um, the consumption is then 1.1% lower than it claims. So that means only 137 watt hour per kilometer, but it was nice and hot, 27 degrees Celsius today. Uh, but that means that, okay, this is the tricky part because when you have no juice left, it says dash dash on the board, uh, dashboard, you actually have 4% left, but that's the thing, you can't count on it because no, normal people, once they see no range left on display, they will charge the car. So do you know that you have 4% left? So um, based on all these numbers, um, actually the car has 42.6 kilowatt hour, according to my calculation. Uh, but you can only use 40.9 of that, uh, which is a bit weird because when I tested the other cars, the PSA cars before, I managed to measure 45 kilowatt hours. I don't know what they have done, but uh, we have to base it on that one. And then we have 300 kilometers of range. And then for the high speed test, it was amazingly efficient. I heard that this car has the best drag coefficient of them all. Um, only 209 watt hour per kilometer, corrected to 207. And that means that for this car, we have a range of uh, uh, 198 kilometers. Again, I'm not counting on the four last percent because we don't know how much we have. It's a bit risky business to go there. So yeah, very impressive speed, uh, very impressive uh, consumption. I'm just a little bit puzzled why uh, suddenly we have slightly less energy than before, but still the, the efficiency here is actually better than E28. And I think maybe it's also better than uh, Corsa E. I will be testing Corsa E eventually, but for now I have this car, yeah. So I think that's gonna be it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.